Hello and welcome back once again for more Undertale Genocide Run. This time, again, we're fighting Saiyans. What a crazy fight this is. It took me a while to finally do this. It probably took roughly 60 times. Maybe? I don't know. I'm generalizing, but be prepared. It's a long fight, and it's a challenging fight, and, you know, ultimately it's so very rewarding once you finally beat him. Oh my goodness. Recommendations for those that are struggling and people who want to know more about it. Well, basically in this, I got a very bad start at first. I will say that using health items, use them the least amount of times you can in the first part of the battle. So, in other words, try to let your health run all the way down. This is the stuff people were telling me, so I'm trying to pass this along to other people. It's very good advice because, again, yeah, this doesn't look too good right here, but in the end, yeah, I try to basically maximize all my health potions and such to get the most out of them. Lots of dodging. A lot of this stuff becomes muscle memory. You have to get a real feel for this. So if you die like five, six times, don't worry, it happens. Oh my goodness, it took a lot of tries to be able to get this down. So again, once you get the hang of it, you can get further and further, taking less and less damage. Sometimes you'll slip up, but other times you will succeed. You just gotta hang in there. I said, a lot of this is just stuff you learn, muscle memory and such. There we go, look at that. And you just gotta stick with it. So, yeah, I didn't put the butterscotch pie in my inventory. Some people were like, put the butterscotch pie in, you could use it. Others were like, no, hold on to it. Well, quite frankly, in genocide, we probably could have put it in the inventory and used it. It would have been fine. I stuck with the instant noodles, though. We went and got some legendary heroes as well as the snowman pieces. I did put the snowman pieces in my inventory, switched them out. So, I mean, we've, we're pretty well prepared for this fight. Yeah, this is probably one of the more annoying ones that'll hear. Sometimes it's gonna be very difficult, sometimes it's gonna be very easy. This time it came out to be very easy. We only had to like dodge, what, once or twice, if that. Now a lot of these, they're somewhat familiar, but there's like sometimes or sometimes they switch it up. A little dodging right here. This part isn't really wasn't too bad. I think the second phase is where things got real and it got real crazy indeed. These are pretty simple, little jump rope bones. Again, hop, skip, and a jump. Again, I think they're the first thing you'll get used to. Oh my gosh, though. Yeah, I couldn't do this in-game. I couldn't do an in-game commentary while doing this. This is another one I found pretty easy after a while, even though I slipped up there. This is something that it comes natural to you after a while, but commentary and doing this would be very difficult, to say the least. Normally, I would do the context of what Sands is saying and give him a voice, but there's no possible way. Lots of jump rope here. Lots of jump rope. There we go. Awesome. So yeah, we kind of went the different route. Go with the voiceover toward the end. Make it happen a little bit easier. Awesome. So yeah, you know the first part's ending when Sans says he's getting tired. And we just went ahead and did that. I could have healed right there, but it's like, whatever. Yeah, now he's... Ugh, that being said, you certainly like to swing that thing around a lot. Which, yeah, we do. So we, we got him on the ropes right now. He's going to give us a chance to back down, or a chance to keep going, so I'm not backing down. Basically, if you back down, he kills you, you pop back up, and he said, Well, I'm not surprised that failed. So, there's that. But yeah, we're sticking right through it. Sorry, Sansy. Yeah, you were a dear friend in another playthrough, but right now you are the enemy. So we have to continue to fight you, buddy. Sorry. I'm not laying down my weapon. And basically, Sans says, Oh, I'm not surprised. He's a legendary here to buff up. I try to keep it so I only use two healing items in the first time. If it doesn't work out, then I usually kind of go back and do it again. Yep. Like he says, we like doing things the hard way. And these little skips are introduced, which they are a pain in the butt. Again, lots of dodging. Once you get a feel for it, it does get better. It may take dozens, dozens of times, but you just gotta hang in there. I like how they threw the bone in there on the side, too, as you try to get your healing items. The bone's doing damage to you. It won't kill you, but it will reduce your health. Also, this part. This part ain't too bad. You just gotta know how to dodge it. There's times where I slipped up and actually stepped into the laser beam, so I wasn't paying attention. But, yeah. It's something, it's not too difficult to avoid. I'd say the slamming part, which is coming up here next, not yet. That part ain't too bad. These aren't too bad once you drink the tea. That can be a little bit tricky without the tea. Same thing with that. But, once we get to... The slamming part, that gets really insane. He gets faster and faster, and it gets harder to dodge the bones. 
Okay, Sans. Yeah, you know, some good food, some bad laughs. It would have been a good thing. Yeah, this part right now ain't too bad, but when he starts picking up speed, it gets insane. Oh my god. Again, like I said, it took me a lot of times to go back and actually do this. It may have been 50 to 60 times. I don't really know, but it took a lot of time to get used to it. And plenty of dodging again. He loves that slamming part, especially toward the end. Thank you for a challenge, Sans. Okay, so next up, there's another little part I learned a trick to. And I'm not certain if this is going to be it right here. Nope, we're hanging in there, buddy. We're not giving up just yet. We're not quitting. Okay, yeah, these aren't too bad. I think these are actually easier than the smaller skulls. Again, it is very simple. You just watch where you go. Dodging's pretty easy. At least I say that now. Maybe not later. <laughs> yeah, this part right here, if you just go to the bottom and do a little sidestep, it's not hard at all. Just be very quick about it. You should be able to get past that. I took no damage on it. Once again, little pathways. We got that. Thank you for the T. I boosted it. More jump rope. That part took me a little bit. But overall, again, once you make a... I actually made a mistake on that one. I didn't want to eat the face steak, but I was trying not to take damage. So I just went ahead and slammed the button and got me in that point. There, you see me struggle a little bit with the slamming part back there. And, of course, we get the more skull attacks. These things are potent, but they're quite easy to dodge if you're paying attention. Again, like I said, I've made mistakes with this already before. You just gotta be very careful with them. They can box you in, and that's where I messed up. Okay, he's coming up on a special attack soon. I try to get my health up because... I generally wanted to get a full amount of health for the full attack. It gets really insane. And, of course, he's giving us one more warning. You know what? I'm gonna do my full attack soon. Doing a little more dodging here again. These aren't too bad as long as you're careful. There we go. Try to back out of it. Get the instant noodles. Get a full amount of health. A little dodging air. I slipped up on that part. For the most part, hold on pretty good. And of course, I did a, a mercy run right here, which is kind of why this thing came in. If I should have did an attack, it would have worked out, and that's where I slipped up at. As you can see, I took a very bad beating on that because I didn't pay enough attention and I was getting beat by the lasers. Again, they're simple, but again, if you get boxed in or you get crossed up, it's very easy to have them just things kill you. Well, here goes our special attack. Not too bad at half-life. Then again, though, here's where the slamming gets insane. A little bit more sidestepping. 20 hit points going across, and this part. This part it was a little tricky at first, took some time along with this. But I think the upcoming part passed here. Dodge the bones. These weren't too bad. Just gotta keep on sidestepping. Once you do it a few times, that's where you learn. But this is the part that got me. I'm not very good at doing circles, so again, if I would have did a better job with circles like, like that, right there, you can see the dodge. Oh my god, so much dodging. Sands goes nuts. Regardless, you're gonna take damage on that. You can't get away from it. He's gonna take you down to one, and that's it. We are barely alive. He is super tired. Oh, Sansy, you tried so hard. You gave up quite the fight. You had me quite angry at one point. Again, I was kind of glad to get this fight over with. Jeez. Huff and puff, you're done, buddy. Oh, my goodness. Definitely one of the most challenging boss fights I've had in quite some time. Uh, it's time for my special attack. Are you ready? Here goes nothing. And you gotta love his special attack. As he just kind of sits there and chills out. You would have thought the special attack was what we just faced before. Yep. That's right. It's literally nothing. And I'm not... <laughs> it's not going to be anything either. <laughs> you got it? I know I can't beat you. On one of your turns, you're just going to kill me. So, uh... I've decided... It's not going to be your turn, ever. I'm just going to keep having my turn until you give up. Even if it means we have to stand here till the end of time. Oh, Sans gets very creepy when he has no eyeballs in there. Capiche? It's always one of those things, the first time you see him without his eyes, it's like very unsettling. So we kind of get stuck here waiting. You'll get bored here. He tries to dissuade us. If you haven't gotten bored already, I mean. 
He tries. You gotta give him credit. He tries. And then, you'll finally quit. <laughs> As he says with no eyes. Well, he don't know our determination. We are full of determination. So, I don't think that's going to happen anytime soon. This is probably the best part because it's really the cooldown after freaking out over all the other attacks. I know your type. You're, uh, very determined, aren't you? Well, you'll never give up, even if there's, uh, absolutely no benefit to persevering. If I can make that clear. Nope, I'm not giving up. No matter what, you'll just keep going. Not have any desire for good or evil, just because you think you can. And because you can. You have to. Well, again, we're gonna stick with it. And he's just gonna sit there and slowly nod away into dreamland. But now, you've reached the end. You can see he's so exhausted. There's nothing left for you now. So, uh, in my personal opinion, the most determined thing you can do here is to, uh, completely give up and yawn. Do literally anything else. The yawn was the big key right there. It lets you know what's going on. So if you get to him that first time, and you actually beat him, you get a sense on how to handle this. As he slowly drifts off into dreamland. Thank you, Sans, for all your challenging fights, I have to say. Again, this definitely brings out the best in anybody who can beat this fight. But overall, yeah, he... He's a great character. I really enjoyed his character, especially in the pacifist run, the true pacifist run. It was very enjoyable. I loved that ending. As for this, I mean, it is what it is. As he slowly nods off to dreamland. There we go. Push that box off to the side. You can only do that while the Z's are out, while he's sleeping. If you try to do it while he's just nodding off, it'll actually just put you right back to the center and make you wait again, so there's no point of even moving until he falls asleep. That's when we can go ahead and make our strike. And select. <laughs> Did you really think you could hurt me? Oh! Yeah, you just got handled, Sans. Oh, so sad. Dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. So... G guess that's it, huh? Dot dot dot. Just don't say I didn't warn you. Wow, he got pretty wrecked for being a skeleton. Him bleeding. Some may say it's ketchup, but it may, it may be blood. Well, uh, I'm going to Grillby's. Oh, Sands. I really think he is a revenant now. Once you look back on it, he's very similar traits and everything. As to a revenant. As he slowly slides off screen. Papyrus! Do, do, don't you want anything? As he fades away off screen. Such an amazing fight. And such endurance you need to go ahead and get past it. But it's well worth it. So exciting to get past it. I was so excited. Even my wife was here seeing me freak out. She was surprised and kind of excited for me. I'm gonna go ahead and save it right here. Go ahead and we'll actually change around our inventory. As you see, I had one snowman piece left. So we went through a whole inventory full of items right down to just one snowman piece. We used all those healing items. I'm just gonna go ahead and throw some things in here right now. Save again. Get ready for next time. <laughs>